It was hard to be disappointed. Just as you just said, I ran my fastest race ever, and it was a personal best for me. And it was fourth at the Olympic trials, and it was pretty much a spot on the relay and being on the team, but not having the opportunity to run the hundred. So it was hard to be disappointed. Of course, I would have loved to get third, but everything happens for a reason. Like besides track and field, <laughs> um, besides track and field, because obviously I'm really looking forward to watching the best track meet on earth. I'm really excited to watch the other events that are going on there. I'm a really big basketball fan, so I really want to go and watch Team USA basketball and gymnastics. And the experience just being around a whole lot of great athletes who have spent their entire life working to get to the same place. Um, it's really exciting. The 4 by one relay is one of my favorite events, and to have an opportunity to run the relay with four girls who are extremely fast, you don't get true 400, true 100 meter runners all on the same relay very often. So I'm really excited to get that opportunity to run with such an elite class of women. Hi, Hi Ashley. Oh, all right. <laughs> Going straight over to Europe right away, right after the trials, what was, was that like? Was that kind of a taste of what this next level was like for you? It definitely was. I spent, what was it, like 12 days in Europe at three different track meets, and it was um, a lot because I went right after trials. So I had a lot of fun. It was a learning experience for me, and I ran some good races. Um, I don't really think I was nervous. It was just more of a feeling of not being exactly sure of what I was doing because I know the NCAA, I did that for four years, and I was in an entirely different <coughs> meet situation now where I was kind of looking around and seeing, like, what are other people doing and what am I supposed to be doing right now. Um, it was great to be in the London Diamond League, and I watched the world record fall in the women's 100-meter hurdles, so that was exciting, and it was a great experience. I mean, if we can get these handoffs down and basically perfect, I think this is a team that's capable of like achieving a world record there. It's, it's four unbelievably talented women on the team. But then it's a relay and you know, a bad handoff can change everything.